guys twin flame and soulmate nation welcome to my channel it's made for love with another dm download where we look at what's going on with the dm let's just get let's just absorb the vibe of saying yes because we all said yes to this journey and it's long and it's hard it's beautiful we said yes and we're gonna send unconditional love to our twin right now so just bring them to mind and you just send that loving vibe it doesn't matter if they pissed you off lately or if you're feeling frustrated send that loving energy to them straight from your heart space yes we are loyal mm, to a fault <laughs> Okay, guys, I'm so glad to be back with you. Back to our regular programming. All right, before we start today, quick announcement, very, very quick. As you guys saw, I started um, posting Transitions with T, which is um, written downloads from Tanya, and they have been just absolutely gorgeous and beautiful, and they are going to be a weekly thing. Um, you're going to get some uh, an abridged version on Friday sometimes, but every time on Sunday, you're going to get the outlook for the week. And she is such a clear channel for her spirit, and her spreads are just beautiful. Please connect with her at T underscore Orange Butterfly um, on uh, um, Instagram, and she also has an Etsy shop. Just tune into my community page. And you're going to see what I've posted, what spreads I've posted from her already. Just incredible. And I, just to remind everyone, anyone who's starting a channel or an Etsy shop or whatever, and it's connected to this journey, um, let me know so I can shout you out and connect people with you. That's one. Two, coming from Monday, I'll be offering more readings, more different types of personal readings, I should say. So you're going to see that from Monday, including... Um, readings for our pet soul companions as well so that's going to be exciting um um, um my monthly raffle for free day, free readings for a year starts on monday as well so you can start sending your donations and you can get um information on that in the description box and what's the last thing I think that was it. That's it, guys. That's it, guys. All right, so today, to start our main reading, I'll be choosing a card from Angels and Ancestors, and I'll tell you why. Today is Spiritual Shelter Baptist Day in my country. And on Spiritual Shelter Baptist Day, let me put on some light just in case. Yeah, that's much better. On Spiritual Shelter Baptist Day, um... The Shelter Baptist, I think I spoke to you guys about this already when it was carnival time, that they um, are all indigenous re religion and it's an amalgamation of um, the spiritual beliefs of our African ancestors and their animist and shamanic um, traditions with mainstream Christianity and it also has um, Hindu rituals as well so it's a real um, what we call a Kalalu or mix up of things and it's something that they created in order to cope with life and this in, in this new world that they were kidnapped and brought to so it arises directly out of the slave trade and the slavery experience so today is a day that we set, that, set aside to really honor them because they played a major role in um, preserving captive captive capturing and preserving um, a lot of our African traditions and cultural expressions. If it wasn't for them, most of them would have died out because they were punished by um, the slave owners or those persons, the kidnappers, for practicing any um, African traditions, but they still persevered. So this is a day that we set aside to honor them. So to do my own part, in honoring them, we're going to start with just a song by um, Ella Andel, and it talks about bringing down the power of love 
to earth, which is exactly what the twin flame journey is about, by the way. So I'm going to start with that. Let me just find it on my list, guys. Just bear with me one moment. And that's going to start our reading for today. So it's, it's called Bring Down the Power. And it's about bringing down the power of love, which is what we're supposed to be doing. All right. So I'm going to play that whilst I shuffle the cards. Greatest power on earth. greatest power that's the power of love it's the greatest power and that's what we're supposed to be doing bringing down the power of love down to earth so i thought that was just a fitting um song for this morning all right so what we're going to do we're going to start with the message to the ds and usually i take a card from um work your light but because today's spiritual shelter baptist day i'm going to take a card from angel and ancestors i think it's only fitting okay so let's see Message for the DF. What is the message for the DF today? What is the message for the DF? What does she need to be doing right now on this journey? Ah, this one. Hold on a second. I see the card that I need to choose. Wow. Trade up. Energy exchange to create abundance. And I'm intuitively getting already. You know, it's about exchanging energies or specialities or skills with your tr with your soul tribe with your soul tribe it's energy exchange to create abundance all right let's see what that is all about trader so message for the df trader energy exchange and it's on page eight which reduces to eight so it's all about um gaining spiritual strength so I think that abundance is spiritual strength. All right, let's see. All right. Make connections and exchange information. See what I'm saying? Make connections and exchange information, talents, or support. And this is why I'm really passionate about supporting anybody that's coming out with their own, um, that's stepping out on their, to their own path publicly because we are supposed to be here to support each other. And this card affirms it. It says the trader brings the lesson and energy of exchange. When he appears, he could represent an opportunity to exchange talents, whatever they may be, in order to expand or be about the exchange of energies that come from the universe or both. For example, if you are a creative person or consider yourself creative, when you share your talents, you are giving them. And when you do so, the universe will give you more in order for you to share more. It's a beautiful cycle. The trader also represents, also reminds you to be open and honest and act with integrity in your exchanges because doing something to get something will only lead to challenges. So you have to give that exchange from the heart. It says the universe operates under the law of cause and effect and is always looking to return to a natural state of balance. So if you're lacking in the feelings of abundance at this time, you are being invited to share your time, your gifts, and your understanding with others. If you're frustrated because something isn't unfolding in your life, instead of asking yourself what you can get, ask yourself 
what you can give. The exchange of energy doesn't necessarily mean financial energy. It can also be about supporting in order to feel supported. If you've been holding back with your offerings, now is the time to change that. Allow yourself to be open, honest, and vulnerable. This can prepare you to open up to even greater opportunities in the coming days, weeks, and months. So it's all about giving of yourself freely. Giving of your time, your energy, and your talents. And I'm really feeling that this is you being called into a public space. If you've been hesitant about sharing your gifts, if you've been hesitant about sharing your time, you don't feel confident enough, whatever it is that's stopping you, you need to release that fear. And it's not like the present. You need to release that fear so you can share your gift because your gift was meant to be shared. It wasn't meant for you to hold it to your heart and be stingy with it. It's meant to be shared. You know, I forgot to take out this card, which is the lover's path, which is what we are. Um, we're going to use for the divine connection today. I also get to take all these cards. But you know, better late than never. Okay. So I'm going to put them here. I'm going to put them aside here. For lover's path. All right. So let's get into our reading today. I'm just going to put that here to remind us. And of course, we start with the karmic spread. Because we're only taking a quick look anyway. What's happening in the karmic relationship right now? Let me bring some vibes. What's happening? like people are focusing on connecting to themselves and connecting to spirit that's what's happening connecting them to themselves for the first time for some okay all right so when the dm thinks about his comic and the connection how is he processing it mentally what's happening all right well they're not talking that's for sure and very little talking being done right now Somebody is about to make a decision. They're kind of making it blindly because they're going out on blind faith for the first time. They're trusting their intuition finally. But right now, their emotions are a bit unstable. So they're really trying to um, steady themselves and gain courage to walk. <laughs> And I'm saying that because today I'm fine. I'm only noticing for the first time the yellow in his shoes. And shoes are made for walking. We know this. <laughs> All right, so let's see what else. Yeah, he wants to come out of this energy. He wants to come out of this nightmare. It's been going on for too long. He has to face his fears. He knows this now. He has to face his fears. He has been there agonizing, living in the nightmare, persevering, persevering in the nightmare. But he has to release it. He has to release it now. It's enough. It's been enough. And he can only release it by releasing them. Releasing her. Getting rid of his third party. Mentally, he is in full awareness of this now. Because he is connected to the divine now. I feel this strongly. He is connecting to spirit. He's connecting to spirit. Hard space. A little resistance there. A little resistance to transform. But he's going to get there. And that's what's causing the indecision. Mentally he knows what he has to do. But the heart, you know. Connecting to spirit. What else is in his heart when he thinks? Yeah. He's realizing there's no victory to be had here. He needs to take his victory elsewhere. He's also recognizing that this whole relationship was not centered around love, but was centered around ego. 
And as long as it's centered around ego, no victory can be had. It's just a cyclical, it's just a cycle, a karmic cycle that goes round and round and round and round. A spiritual cycle that never stops. He's recognizing that now. Ah, oh, space, when he thinks about the karmic. Communication is zero to nil. <laughs> wow. Pulling teeth. This guy is silent. He may have ghosted you. He may have disappeared, fallen off the radar. Because he's gone deeper than. He's gone deeper than. He's gone deeper than. That's why we've not seen the transformation there. He has gone so deeper than because he's connecting with spirit. Yeah. When he thinks about this karmic situation, he realizes he has to focus on building himself. And I think I saw this was in the Capricorn or Virgo reading today. That's what I saw in the in in this in the reading today. Building self, working on his own pentacles, focusing on himself. That's what he is doing. So what can we expect from this connection? Yeah. No love messages here. No love being offered. One more card. And then it's, it's all immature. It's, it, this whole relationship was immature. Immature and premature. There may be kids involved. Maybe that's why he's so resistant. Yeah, but... At, at, at the same time, he has to speak his truth, live his truth, because he now has clarity. And he got that clarity because he is now connecting to spirit. He's connecting to spirit. I'm convinced of it. He is connecting to spirit. He has surrendered to spirit. I feel that very strongly. He has surrendered to spirit. That is why you can get this clarity. Absolute surrender. Whoever I'm channeling, they're surrendering to spirit. They want to be filled up. They were feeling so empty. This is why there have been in all these different relationships. This is not the first karmic relationship. That's why they've been in all these empty relationships. Because they were empty inside. But they're going to be filled up for the first time because they're connecting to source. Big changes happening in the end line. Big changes. Whoever I'm channeling. He's in total surrender. Total surrender. He's been running on empty. That's why he was there. Love collecting, emotionally hoarding. He was running on empty. He had nothing inside for himself. His soul was yearning for more. Yearning. He surrendered. what he's asking for it to do. surrendered to spirit. Let's see what he's thinking about. His death and his surrender. He has surrendered to spirit. 
He's tired of being empty. He wants to run over. Be filled to overflowing so that he can give his death to run over. He's not communicating with DF either. <laughs> He's gone deep within. Trust me, deep. This is hermit mode to the max. You might not even see him on social media. All right. So when he thinks of um, the DF and their connection, how is he processing it? Come on, dear. Man. At least talk to us. Talk to us. You know you could tell us anything. You can tell me anything. Yeah. He wants to get over this. This Five of Cups energy. This hurt, the pain, the grief that he's carried around for a long time. It's not even, it's not all even related to the DF. This is related to his whole life. His whole life. The emptiness. The empty cups. His empty cup of love. He has, he's coming out of this. He knows he has to come out of this. He is going to come out of this. He has to. Come on, dear. Dear, talk to me. What's he thinking? Headspace. What's he thinking? He's not ready to come forward for the reasons we just explained. He and spirit are connecting on a deep level. He's working on himself. So there's a delay in, pro in the progress of this relationship because he's running over, being filled with spirit for the very first time. So as much as he wants to come towards the earth, because it says he has desire, he's feeling that magnetic pull, but he knows the time isn't right. The time isn't right here. Because you know what? You have to fall in love with yourself before you give yourself to anybody else. That is a lesson we had to learn. And nobody rushed us. So you can't rush him. You can't rush him right now. He's fallen in love with himself. He's fallen in love with spirit. Don't rush that at all. Because it's only through that process that he can love you. Yeah. Seven of Cups. He's making he's made a choice. He knows which cup is the cup. He knows. It is this one that is protected and guided by the divine. You see the white cloth there? It's behind the veil. It was behind the veil all the time. He had to connect the spirit to see it. He had to connect the spirit to see it. He's made a choice. Heart space. When you think about the earth. He's also thinking. You see, <laughs> this song came on as soon as I asked about heart space. He's wondering why he did the things he did. He's tired of all the lies and the pain he's feeling inside. He wants to make it right. This is what is in his heart. Oh, you can't make this shit up. This, this is what he wants to offer. You see what I'm saying? He wants to give everything. He's running back to you. <laughs> Surrender. Yes. Don't give me emotional. You still love me. Let's 
Listen, Spirit, thank you for that. This is why I play the music. That told me more than the cards could ever tell me. You <laughs> see what I'm saying? Look at it here. High Priestess. He knows the truth about everything now. He knows the secrets. He knows the secrets. He, and he knows the secret is you. This is what he was searching for all the time. In his heart is a high priestess. In his heart is a DF. In his heart is a DF. And he's running back to her. <laughs> what I tell you? He wants to bring a truth. He doesn't care how he says the truth right now. He just knows he needs to bring it. He's also stalking you. Well, we know this already. But this truth that he's going to bring to you is going to transform this whole relationship. He knows what he has to do. Yeah, you're his destiny. He recognizes that in his heart. He knows this now. He knows this now. Any delays caused now is because he is going through his own transformation and connecting with spirit. So that spirit can guide him and lead him and tell him where he needs to share his gifts. And how he needs to, how he needs to utilize his gifts. He's communing with spirit. He's on his own shamanic journey. He's on his own journey now. He'll come home soon. What's blocking this connection right now? Oh, he still has some addictions he's trying to let go of. And they're emotionally based. He still has some addictions. We got the devil energy here. No, this isn't devil energy. I'm sorry. I saw the word oppression, but I'm realizing it's card 16. This is tower. Rough seas ahead. Big changes happening in his life. This is what's blocking the connection. He's having a tower. He's in hangman mode. No, this is not hangman. This is hope. This is hope. He has hope in his heart. This is a star. What's blocking this connection right now? God. Spirit. The power of love. The source of love is blocking this connection. The spirit. Grace. Divine grace. He's filling his cup. He's filling his cup. Did I not tell you that? He's filling his cup. So that's what's delaying this connection right now. Nobody else. Nobody else. So what can we expect with these actions towards you by the next time we meet? What is he going to be doing? Well, he's not going to be communicating, guys. <laughs> he's not. But he wants to come forward to offer love, though. He wants to come forward to offer love. His intuition has told him he needs to do this. His intuition has told him who he needs to offer his cup of love to. You see how serene he looks. He's in his full feminine energy. Moon, emotions, heart space. What other actions towards you can we expect? gonna bring the truth this week he knows he has to bring the truth 
He has to bring the truth to his feminine, Venus. Venus incarnate. He has to bring the truth to her. Although I don't know why they would put Venus with the Queen of Swords, though. But anyway, hey. The feminine energy doesn't matter. What else can we expect? So he knows who he has to give his cup of love to. And it's all it's all women, right? It's all women in every single card. He's in full feminine energy. Intuitive energy, receptive energy. And he has to be because he's communing with spirit. He has to be receptive. He's communing with spirit. He's not ready to communicate yet though okay guys so you're not gonna get any major communication from this guy whoever i'm channeling here he's not ready to communicate he is on his journey fully on his journey at a rapid rate okay all right so let's get now some messages from this no no no, no. yeah some messages from his higher self and i think we'll end it there i'm not going to go into work your light because we had the message from the ancestors already we're gonna get messages from his higher self from my deck divine counterparts in separation and i'll be on sale at the end of april okay i'm just doing the final prints and you don't have to be intuitive to use this deck although you are df so you have no issue I have no issue at all using this deck. So let's get some messages from his higher self, okay? What will he tell you without ego? guys sorry about that got a little warning but you're going low so let's do this now you know i read across and i read top down so let's go there's a third party in dog yes oh my god yes <laughs> we know <laughs> But I only entered that third party because I did not have confidence in myself. I felt worthless. I felt unlovable. I felt hopeless. I was selfish. I felt deformed. I was lazy. I felt bad. I felt stupid. All these things that I've been told all my life. But now I'm ready to find balance. I'm ready to find balance. I'm ready to follow my heart. And my heart has led me to you. So can we work things out? Can we work things out? I promise that I will never leave you. And that I would adhere by the covenant, the contract that we have together. You are my completion, number 10. Completion and beginning because 10 reduces to one. You're my beginning and end. Oh, let's see if we get another message we even top down all right there's a third party involved but i'm following my heart fuck them i'm following my heart i was full of doubt i was full of doubt at first but now i know i have to work things out with you can we work things out can we find balance together can we have this commitment can we honor this contract that we have always had and will always have for all eternity can we make that promise to each other you are my beginning and my end. Alpha and Omega. 
after God and spirit, of course. <laughs> okay, guys, so that's your message today. I hope you enjoy it. And I'll see you back on Monday for another DM download. And, of course, the start of our free readings for a year raffle. Don't forget to connect with T at T underscore orange butterfly on Insta. And you just have a great day and happy spiritual shout of Baptist Day to all of you guys. Remember the ancestors today. All right, take care.